Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. We have received of God's fullness, January 14, and of His fullness have all we received, and grace for grace, John 1, 16. Christ sought to save the world, not by conformity to it, but by revealing to the world the transforming power of the grace of God to mold and fashion the human character after the likeness of the character of Christ. Satan has represented God as selfish and oppressive, as claiming all and giving nothing, as requiring the service of his creatures for his own glory and making no sacrifice for their good. But the gift of Christ reveals the Father's heart. It declares that while God's hatred of sin is as strong as death, His love for the sinner is stronger than death. Having undertaken our redemption, He will spare nothing, however dear, which is necessary to the completion of His work. No truth essential to our salvation is withheld. No miracle of mercy is neglected. No divine agency is left unemployed. Favor is heaped upon favor, gift upon gift. The whole treasury of heaven is open to those he seeks to save. Having collected the riches of the universe and laid open the resources of infinite power, he gives them all into the hands of Christ and says, All these are for man. Use these gifts to convince him that there is no love greater than mine in earth or heaven. His greatest happiness will be found in loving me. The Father appreciates every soul whom his Son has purchased by the gift of his life. Every provision has been made for us to receive divine power, which will enable us to overcome temptations. Through obedience to all God's requirements, the soul is preserved unto eternal life. God has a heaven full of blessings that He wants to bestow on those who are earnestly seeking for that help which the Lord alone can give.